20 tournament, I'm sorry. Right now, how are y'all doing? First match is gonna be Yuhi against Sekai. Yo, Hokuto Soke, how are you doing, man? Comment vas-tu, ça va bien? Okay, let me check real quick the bracket in between. I just need to be sure that nobody is uh, is out, is, uh, well, not understanding me. That should be okay, I feel. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> So, uh, for HS from Sekai right there, very, very, very aggressive Nagori Yuki player, but Yuki finds a way to contest this aggression. Ah, an unfortunate RC right there from Yuki, but thankfully he had guarded in the air. Very nice stuff. Here we go with Sekai trying to close the distance between Yuki and his opponent. And here we go with the blood rage and the adequate Yuki punish right there. Went for a fake cross up right there, which wasn't a cross up, and just landed right in front of his enemy, very nicely done by Yuhi, he takes the first, uh, the first, uh, the first, what's it called, the first lap, <laughs> I'd say, but it's not the lap, it's the round, okay, Yuhi, here we go, <laughs> I didn't write his name correctly, and here we go with Yuhi on with the pressure, not giving a single second for Sekai to even just, you know, get, <laughs> get just catch his breath, very nicely done, here we go with Ah, finally, the burst from Sekai. Unfortunately for him, he had his blood gauge completely failed, and just like this, he takes the first match. Very nicely done. And on to the second match. Well, the second round, actually. Hopefully, for you, he who will find. Well, he will keep the, the pace, and we'll see for Sekai if he's capable of uh, actually reversing the momentum. We shall see. Very nice. 2k right there, right in the block strings, man, caught Yuhi out of the air. This is actually very surprising. And still, finally, the burst by Sekai, very nicely done. Got Yuhi out of his hair. What a beautiful pair of hair he has, by the way. Just like this, he seals the deal using the RC, very nicely done. <laughs> and here we go with the 4S by Sekai. And the oh, unfortunately, he drops the combo and Yuhi is right there to pick him out of the air. Very nicely done, here we go. Back to Schmick's land, you have to take it, and no knockdown right there by Yuhi. Unfortunately for him, but it's still okay. He got the opening. You go with the Schmixes. Where am I? Left, right, left, right. You are out of the wall. This is exactly what you are. Very nicely done. You go with Yuhi with the pressure, man. And again with the 2k, which catches the overhead of Yuhi, man. Very nicely done. I don't know if this is um, character knowledge or plain luck, but this is very nicely done by Sekai. Here we go with the 2 HS, which whiffs this time around. This is, yes, yes, it whiffs. Sometimes it does. And just like this, Sekai again with the unfortunate blood burst. Fails to take the second round, which would have given him uh, basically guaranteed, uh, well, the, 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 the second match basically, but it's still okay. It's not over till it's over. Very nice confirm from Yuhi this time around. Goes for the cross up. He's going to get the juggle after the overdrive will he get the wall break i do believe he will yeah very nicely done we we'll go with the wall break no hard knockdown though but still okay it's not over till it's over okay 4k 4k lord the footies are there with you he definitely not willing to oh my lord and the 6p of nagoriyuki defeating the 6p of melia man and again with the wall ah this is unfortunate he died with this bro. Well, to be fair, he had the burst at the absolute last second, so it was probably hard for him to confirm that he had it. So it's it's only normal. Okay, anyways, here we go. On to possibly, potentially, the last match of this set. We shall see. We go with some good Mega Man. Uh, some good Mega Man uh, BGM right there. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> okay, here we go with the very, very nice conversion. Gonna get the wall break. Very nicely done by... Uh, Yuhi, and here we go with D2S, which has whiffed, and just like this, Yuhi takes this opportunity to whiff, punishes the opponent, uses the RT, RC to extend the combo, and just like this, gets the kill thanks to the added damage of the wall break. Really, really well done by Yuhi. Okay, on to potentially the match points of this set. We shall see. Sekai needs to find an opening. He needs it. He really needs it. Try to find mix up. He needs to find something, but so far so good. He is on his jolly way to try to get... Oh, here we go. Is he jumping? Okay, right after the RC and very nice uh, recognition right there by Yuhi that Sekai was uh, definitely uh, punishable right there. And just like this with Sekai and the RC into the kill. Very nicely done. Counted it. Potential final round and final match. We shall see. Well, final round of this set at least. Oh, my lord. 
And, oh, and very fortunate uh, trade right there for... Oh, it's not a trade, actually. Ah! Ho, ho, ho! Sinkai reading! Oh, no! And again. Uh, unfortunately for him, he got caught up right... Okay, we're going to mix this. This is probably the worst case you can possibly be when you're a Nago. And you just blood bursted against Amelia. You're probably, like, praying all of your gods that you will be able to block anything that's coming later. Especially if the Amelia has, um... Well, has a bar, basically. Ooh, and here we're going! Oh, no! Not like that! Not like that! And unfortunately for... I am a professional... I'm not professional anything. <laughs> I am... <laughs> I am taking this to heart, and I am definitely not uh, going to uh, be. Uh, wait, this was sand, sand bag, cut. Here we go. This should do. And let's start the prediction. Oh, and yeah, sorry. Here we go. Perfect. So we're still in the winners bracket. Comment ça va, Kimi? Ça va bien. And here we go with Sandbag Kai trying to keep as much distance as he can possibly. Ah, is or is going? Yes, he's going to get the full combo with the overdrive here we go with sandbag kai being <laughs> uh what's it called um i forgot um stained actually ça va très très bien on est là on est là on est de retour here we go with the whip punish from rx on his game man and he should get the kill very nicely done by rx takes this first round very very convincingly let's see how this pans out in the end for sandbag kai oh lord oh no nope nope Ah, Lord. Okay, here we go with Sendak Kai. Oh, going a little bit too ham right there, by the way. Okay, here we go. Finally, with the burst and the very nice stun nipper right there to catch our X off of his feet. Sweep him off of his feet. Okay, here we go with the Arbiter sign. Try to zone Sendak Kai. Very nice grab right there from Sendak Kai. And oh, unfortunately. Oh, my Lord. Are you serious? This is going to hit? Yeah, it is. Oh lord, and the kill! Yo, I didn't expect this at all. Very nicely done by Sendbak Kai. Takes the second, steals the second round actually. Very nicely done. Here we go with the stun dipper, unfortunately for him. RX was definitely aware. It here we go with RX going with the schmixes. No stained for RX, but still okay. He definitely has the health lead, and just like this, catches his opponent out of the air with the 6P, the wonderful 6P of Testament, by the way. Here we go with RX, probably going for a shimmy, I suppose. Trying to uh, to read the grab from his opponent. Here we go with oh lord, with the wake up overdrive. This is really, really, really hard for ya. Yeah. That was basically checkmate right there. Yo, warrior nuts, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. And just like this, our X takes the first match of this set. Very nicely done. Let me check real quick the bracket just to be sure that everybody is playing all according to the Kekaku. It should be okay. I really hope it is. Yeah, so far so good. Only RX is waiting, so it's perfect. Uh, the rest, we can have them play, so yeah, it's perfect as well. And here we go with the Arbiter sign. And here we go with the Converger. Oh no, what the hell? How did it work? What happened? But it's still okay, it's not over till it's over. It is over. It was over. <laughs> okay, second. Uh, first round of the second match goes to RX. Very nicely done. Very strong. Uh, very strong player overall, man. If you guys know, have watched a previous iteration of the Brojo Cup, you are probably familiar with this guy. He is extremely strong. He not only rocks a very crazy testament, but also plays, as you can see right now, man. Just look at his play. It's really clean. Lots of conversion. Lots of very, uh, nicely done. Uh, yeah, lots of very nice things. He comes to giggle before I think. Yeah, oh, really? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, Arx is a crazy, man. And here we go, just like this, Arx takes the second match as well. Let's see if Sendak Kai is going to be able to reverse the tendency or not. We shall see. Okay, here we go. Oh my lord, and the juggle right there from Rx. Nicely done. He's gonna get another another juggle right here. Here we go with the 6P this time. Correctly guarded by Sendak Kai and Rx use it. Making good use of the teleport to get out of pressure. But yeah, it wasn't without the reaction DP from Sendak Kai. And here we go with the conversion. Uh, with the juggle, I mean. The overdrive after having stain and here we go with the resets, I suppose. Try to go for oh lord, yeah, a little bit too obvious right there. The uh charge uh dust was, but it's still okay. Here we go, send back. I will believe in you. Do your best. <laughs> it's not easy, I know. Here we go, the sun dipper a little bit too close to do it, unfortunately for Sendakai. Our X was able to block it correctly, and here we go with the double overhead. It has been doing wonders for our X ever since he started playing Testament. 
Oh, here we go, the Stun Dipper. This time around, Sniffs the... Uh, sniffs the Stun Dipper quite... Oh, Sniffs the Burst, I'm sorry. And just like this... Yeah, this is gonna do very nicely done. Boom, and you did. Very nicely done. Quick 304 r of the never moving wall against the um, relentless mixes and offense, I suppose. So let's see how this goes out. Yuhi does play a character which doesn't have a lot of defense, so definitely he will have to be careful not to get open. Like two openings might just pretty much spell death. So we shall see, Yuhi is definitely proficient with Melia, probably one of the best Melia players in Japan actually, together with uh, Yu uh, Tsuchiya. So yeah, definitely, let's see how this pans out. Here we go, the double overhead, very nice defense by Nikojiro. What is he gonna do? He gets hit by the MTLO, again with the MTLO. Uh, Yuhi recognizes that Nikojiro was a little bit too open uh, on his MTLOs. Very nicely done. Here we go with the hammer fall into the... Oh lord! Into the Garuda impact, but Nikojiro probably tried to provoke some sort of reaction. Here we go. Here we go, you stay here. Here we go, the Garuda impact, and finally forces Yuhi to use the burst. Oh, and the Mega Fist counter, this hurts like a mother humper, and just like this, Nikoji tried to grab his opponent, and unfortunately, Yuhi knew it, he mashed a little bit on Wake Up, but I mean, it works, so that's the way to go. And just like this, Yuhi seals it out with a cross under, very nicely done. On to the second, uh, well, to the second, <laughs> uh, to the second, uh, round. With the uh, block Mega Fist up first, a little bit too far to get the 2D conversion after the 2K. Still okay, here we go with Yuhi getting the hard knockdown with the overdrive, very nicely done. Here we go, goes for <laughs> a regular jump in into a low. Let's see how Nikojiru answers this very nice double overhead right there. This is gonna do a lot of damage actually, and Yuhi is gonna get the overdrive and refuses to use it. Actually, okay, well, fair enough. Probably, ah, yeah, I probably probably wanted to wait for a oh my lord a garuda and just like this after the garuda here we go with nikoji using the oh, 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 oh. did he do what he did oh, are you serious that was crazy oh, 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 oh. Oh, my lord. that was crazy them reads man them reads that was crazy good by nikoji and this is why this guy is probably one of the best if not the best pot player in japan them reads are on point man holy freaking lord <laughs> very nicely done by because you get this freaking read was crazy good especially if you take into account that the um, celestial pot and buster doesn't have a lot of invincibility frame and that was pure read right there very nicely done by nikoji okay here we go with the schmixes by you he definitely <laughs> dead on trying to bring back because this doesn't only deal like physical like damage in game it also deals a lot of very 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 significant mental damage and yeah this this is something that Yuhi is probably going to have to is going to have to deal with i guess and here we go the garuda impact you're staying there you have to eat the garuda impact careful careful yeah you get open it's over man oh lord here we go with the oh man this this is crazy man and the garuda again here we go with Nikoji trying to get them frame traps to try to open his opponent up. Here we go with the run up grab by Yuhi. Here you are in Schmix land goes. Try to uh, pretend to go with the double overhead and just like this. He's gonna do it. Whoa, that conversion though. Wow. That conversion though, not gonna lie. That was crazy good. And just like this, Yuhi takes the first match. That was a crazy hype match, and we're not even in freaking top 8 yet, man. This is crazy. Good stuff by Yuhi. Takes the. Uh, the first game, actually. Here we go with Nikojiro. Well, actually, Yuhi on with the onslaught. And Nikojiro holding on to his burst, finally pops it. Tries to get Yuhi off of his back. And here we go with you. He recognizes the one-hit... <laughs> the one-hit armor right there. And here we go. Boom, boom, and boom. You are out of here. Very nicely done. Nice stuff by Yuhi. He's not gonna get the, uh, the hard knockdown. Oh, my lord. And that whiff punish, though. That with punish and you wake up. <laughs> bye bye. Good boom. Very nicely done. Sometimes you have to do it. You have to make your opponent fear you on wake up. This is probably part of the reason why uh, characters with uh, counters are very, very, very scary. But anyways, uh, I, I digest. I digress. I'm sorry. I digest as well since I ate before starting the stream. But that being said, here we go. 
with the uh, second round of this second match. And you're here really trying to make his way in, but Nikos is doing a good job of keeping him out. Here we go, the hammer fall, what are you gonna do? And he grabbed the aerial grab by Nikos Jidu, and the double Garuda and Pac-Man. This is where you definitely do not want to be as a melee player, as any player, as, as any character actually. But here we go with the very nice leads on to the wave punish. And the back Mega Fist, just do it. And again with Nikos Jidu, hasn't been on point one. It's um, uh, regarding his uh, empty low block game, but it's still okay. He still managed to take this uh, second round. If he takes this round as well, it's going to be a tie. He's probably definitely looking forward to this. He definitely needs this for the morale, especially after the freaking awesome read that he had during this first match. He definitely wants to replicate something like this. And here we go, Schmix's his land. And Yushi with the recognition of the counter hit gets the full extension and no usage of the overdrive this time around. Probably wants to keep it to get the kill or for uh, to um, broaden broaden their option. Here we go with the Roman Kings over to the immediate command grab, man. And uh, oh, what is going to happen? Ah, oh, Lord. And here we go with the RC. Very nicely done. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Falcon. I'm sorry. I might have a... Uh, I might have like made half of you guys completely mute uh, due to my very very loud voice i'm very sorry if that's the case but thank you very much falcon for the clip it's truly appreciated and here we go with the third match actually of this encounter let's see how uh, nicole G deals with the pressure right there i will ask you guys to wait just one second so i can check the racket just to see if everything is going according to keikaku and it is the case this is cool i like it when everybody goes ev everything goes to plan and, uh, okay, here we go, just like this, we're still on the first round of this uh, third match. Very nice back uh, Mega Fist, but <clears throat> Yuhi finds the opening and will get this wall break with no overdrive, but it's still okay, I think Yuhi probably wanted to keep his tension bar anyways. And here we go with the run-up 2k to the end, this should do. Man, with the damage output of Melia, I actually don't know why, I don't think that was intentional, but it's still okay. Still has... A huge life lead, and just like this, Nikoji has to hold it. Oh lord, and the mash for the win by, Na by Yushi, man. The cojones of this man. This was like one hit away from getting uh, from getting um, command grab. Anyways, here we go with the air to air counter hit by Yushi. He's gonna get the wall break again, unless, yeah, here we go. No chance to burst. Still okay. Again, here we go with Nikoji using the golden burst and gets it uh, correctly. Ah, oh, Lord, and the damage, the damage, man. Look at this. You have to eat it. Look at the damage, man. Where's your health, Yuki? Where's your health gone? And just the far S for the win. Very nicely done. Because you're keeping a clear mind, a cold head right there, not given into uh, any sort of stress. Very nicely done. Here we go with the 2P to try to interrupt any attempt of Yuki to try to run towards him. Well, here we go, the double for Ed and Jed, like this, Yuhi, oh lord, Nikoji gets the, the conversion, and here we go, Yuhi reading the, uh, command grab attempt from Nikoji, and Nikoji likewise reading the aerial attempt, aerial axis attempt from Yuhi, and air grabs him accordingly, here we go, no follow-up from there, Nikoji doing a good job of keeping Yuhi at bay and just, you know, um, eating away his life ever so slightly and just as I say this finally he finds a opening goes for the grab but unfortunately Nikoji was on point and finally opens him up with the instant overhead moon the bad moon bad moon stayed on bad moon <laughs> and here we go with the wall break and the mega fist man you can sense Nikoji getting a little bit oh look he even read the instant overhead and Nikoji do Lord, oh Lord, that mix was crazy. just like this. Yuki takes the second match. This is some crazy good Guilty Gear play right there. Very nicely done by uh, by Yuki. But Nikoji definitely hasn't said his last word. It's not over till it's over. Nikoji is definitely not. Uh, well, he's not. He's definitely not like being completely let on. But uh, it's just like something is missing. Probably Nikoji will have to find some adjustment, minor adjustment, I'd reckon to try to uh, bring it back, and just like this, here we go with Yuhi, using the sledge to kick Nikoji out of here. Oh, and the hammer fall against Roman cancelled right there uh, by Yuhi, and oh lord, where are you going? Where are you going, sir? 
Where are you going? Not this time. <laughs> this is unfortunate. We'll go this late again in the bad moon. Bad moon. Stop it. <laughs> and just like this, Yuki is on mm, turn. Uh, not turn point. No, no. We still have a long way to go prior to being on turn point. This is just the set point. Let's see if Nikoji can bring it back. Definitely not completely one sided. But yeah, Nikoji has to find some sort of adjustment. Here we go with the four. Yes, my lord. Eat this. Oh lord, here we go with the, the, the damage, eh? Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I wonder if the sledge can go down. This no, we can. Oh lord, and yeah, the aerial mobility of Melia makes it so that, yeah, Nikoji had a very hard time trying to take her, to hit her out of the air, just like this. Finally, Nikoji takes one, not one round, that is. Uh, with Yuki refusing to burst, and rightfully so, to try to keep their burst for the third round of this match. We go with the top. Ah, and finally Nikoji is forced to burst. Didn't want to give probably the wall break to Yuhi. That being said, Yuhi definitely steamrolling right now. Ah, and here we go with the back. Mega Fist finally finding some opening. Ah, Lord, a badly timed. Ah, that was unfortunate. Just like this, Yuhi is gonna get the wall break. Finally get the positive bonus. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the... Use of the armor from Nikozira. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. No. And if he blocks it, yeah, yeah, that was that was definitely death right there. That was checkmate, man. But very nicely done by Yuhi. No, I'm actually not scared. Well, Junban, oh, eh, to, please, protect me. Eh, to, first player, is on the left. Second player, is on the right. Oh, sorry, I messed up. I'm completely fine. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I thought they uh, they picked the, the wrong side, but I'm 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 just not paying attention. That's not good. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the start of the round immediately by Kohide trying to run run a steam roll on his opponent, and here we go with Atemi with the just block. Unfortunately for him, gets grabbed by Kohide. Kohide definitely out for blood. This is not gonna kill. It's probably oh, okay. No uh, overdrive. Uh, well for you, but it's still okay. Here we go, my lord. The reaction aerial overdrive from Kohide. This man is on point. Very nicely done. First round goes to Kohide. Let's see how this pans out in the end. Now, just one second. Just check into bracket real quick as well. I'm really sorry to have to do this like intermittently. Intermediately? Uh, you catch. Okay, here we go. Everything is good. We go with Kohide running a steam ale again. <laughs> Unfortunately for Atemu, man. Ah, here we go. Finally gets a opening right there. And Kohide with the back step finds the opening as well. He's going to get the full conversion with a aerial attack to get the wall break. Oh, here we go. The air to air this time around in favor of Atemu. No contest on uh, the aerial overdrive. Very hard to punish, by the way. Uh, not to punish, but very hard to uh, react to, basically. You could... Theoretically, I feel you could uh, theoretically do your overdrive, your own overdrive. You have like uh, invincibly frames or like pop the, uh, the, the the DP. If you don't, it's uh, yeah. Well, yeah, just have to hold it. And here we go with the four S four S and Kohide just using the golden burst. Not afraid, man. And here we go with the onslaught and Atenu using the golden burst of his own. We go with the. Beyblade catches the backdash of Kohide! Oh, here okay, we go with Kohide in the reaction. RC to make his jump in safe. We go with the Schmixes again, the quick dust into the Roman cancel with the wall break for the finish. It's not gonna kill by any means, but just like this with Kohide and the recognition that he was gonna get enough tension bar to get the kill. Boom! Here we go with the wall break. Very nicely done. <clears throat> and on to the second round of this match and my lord the forward backward um i was gonna say shitsu but not nah, wrong character wrong top tier <laughs> the fukyo here we go and here we go with the uh kickflip oh kohide messing up his i believe it was his uh his forward dash i do believe it was the case here we go with the alan <laughs> i knew you'd react to this i knew you'd react to this and here we go, my lord, and the damage, unfortunately, for Atem, he couldn't find the juggle. It's unfortunately for him. And just like this with the two, oh, six H, uh, the two, uh, D. Okay, Atem might want to burst, yeah, unfortunately for him. Uh, Kogida was on point, they didn't give him any timing to 
safely burst right there to get him off of him. And here we go on to the potential final match of the set. We shall see. There we go with the... What I believe is a sepul Sepultura. <laughs> I need to study the names of the... Of the, um, the special... Oh, okay, here we go. Atemo again using the Golden Burst this time around. Kuride using a... Uh, probably a setup to try to make his approach safe and therefore it was able to block the... Ah, uh, this is gonna be death, yeah. Big overdrive into wall break, into kill. Very nicely done by Kohide, just like this he is on match point. Set point, actually. So let's see how this pans out. Oh, here we go with Atemu with a little bit of a hard time trying to anti-air Kohide. Kohide gets the uh, counter hit on... Oh, Lord, man. And just like this, he shimmies. Uh, and... I think this is death? Uh, it's not death, yeah, okay, no. Big health pull from, uh, from Atemu. Oh, here we go. Oh, Lord, and D6P finally finds an opening. Ah, what are you gonna do? Lord, in the game flip. Almost got the kill, but it's still okay. He got the follow-up for the versus Takarin. So, Yuhi, formidable melee player, and Takarin, equally formidable Axel player. Let's see what wins. Is it going to be uh, fault? Well, incessant defense versus well, relentless defense versus relentless well, relentless zoning versus relentless uh, offense. Let's see how this pans out. And just like this, Tikarin San not afraid to just go straight, man, to run up straight to his opponent and press buttons. And just like this, you get the two HS counter hit very nicely done. He's gonna get oh lord and was able to bait out the tick uh, attempt from you. He gets the counter hit into the kill. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord! Oh, okay, here we go. You he has it having again some problems to get in. It's always very hard to try to find the opening when you are fighting a very good axle. Almost sometimes you feel like it's completely impossible. And here we go with oh lord! Finally gets an opening, and thanks to the top gets also. Some more pressure, very nice recognition of the 4S. Uses the Roman cancel to close the gap between both. And just like this, Yuhi is gonna get a positive bonus. There we go, goes with the cross up. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my lord, and the trade on the 2S of Axel. This is something you do not see very often. Ah, uh, Yuhi trying to, yeah, pan out to try to make as much damage as possible to try to. Get rid of the, the little health that uh, Takarin had left and just, uh, yeah, like this, manages to uh, fit to seal the deal. We will finally take care of RN using the burst. Oh, here we go. Oh, very nice jump back. HS. We will take care of RN and being very, 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 very patient in his approach. And Yuki finally finds the opening, tries to go with a uh, fake cross up. And create cross up. And Still struggles to find the opening. We'll go with Takarin being probably one of the strongest and more, most solid Axel player you've ever seen. And here we go. You run up for the uh, for the uh, well for the punish, and just like this, Yui ends up taking it. Very nicely done. Takes the first round of this match. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Yoga, uh, Yoga, call me. I can look up that. Ah, uh, you're tonight. Okay, we're good. Sorry, I was just checking the, uh... <laughs> I was just checking the racket, just to see if everybody is going okay. And it's okay, so we can continue. And here we go with the... Uh, jump in from Yuhi, and not afraid to run up and just grab. And unfortunately, he drops a combo, but is still very, very much aware and just... Uh, times his midi on the wake up of Tikaran and to continue uh, the pressure. Here we go with the uh, double overhead, man. Well, first, well, the double the double air dash, that is. Wasn't really double overhead, but that being said, here we go with Yuhi. Gets the wall break. Oh, Lord, and the run up S from Tikaran. He doesn't, well, he's not quite able to try to, to succeed in anti airing. You can just like this, Yuhi takes the second round of this. Second match. Oh, actually, he takes. Oh, Lord! Yuhi is on a roll right now. Takarin is in dire straits. He absolutely needs this match if he wants to stay. Uh, um. How do you say it? 
up, up water. If he doesn't want to drown, basically. Anyways, here we go with Yuhi trying to keep the... Uh, well, to trying to keep the pressure, but Tikaran making good use of his uh, faultless defense to try to push Yuhi as much as possible. Tikaran still holding on to his uh, burst, making good use of the um, chicken jump, I suppose it was. It wasn't a chicken jump, but it was a um, sh um, shimmy, shimmy jump. I don't remember exactly, but that being said, here we go with Yuhi and the close S. Fantastic. Oh my lord, and the burst has been baited, and just like this, Yuhi takes it in his own set point. What is Tikaran san going to do? Takarin, this is your last chance to stay afloat. This is the word I was searching for, by the way. And oh, and the grab from Takarin. That was beautiful, very nicely done. And Yuhi just alternating his dash and his back dash timing to try to bait normals from Tikaran, and then using the far slash to punish any. You know, extended limbs from Takar Takarin. Elgir with the 2S. No counter hit on this one, so no confirm. Very nice recognition from Tikarin to grab Yuhi on his way down. And just like this, Takarin finally puts one round on the board, that is. He needs this round as well if he wants to stay afloat. We go with the air to air by Yuhi. And the counter hit in their favor. He's gonna get the wall break. No chance for Takarin to get out of this pressure. He has to eat it. And here we go with Takarin again with the run up pressing button, man. It has been working so good for him. Here we go the 2k 2d. Gets the knockdown. Takarin has to eat it. Makes again very good use of the faultless defense to push his opponent as far as possible. And this should actually do, I think. If Yushi doesn't drop his combo, yes, this is gonna do. A clean 3 0. I have. I do have a sore throat, so I'm just gonna check if I have a fever tomorrow. If I do, I'm not gonna go, but it should be okay, I feel. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Zeed versus Kohide. Please don't have a connection error. We got tests for you. Okay, perfect. Oh, okay, so you're working with uh you're working with a uh, Giuna to uh, set up all of this. This is cool. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh I'll um I'll relay the uh the, the information. Yeah, real quick, uh guys. While both of these fantastic opponents are duking it out. I'm <clears throat> sorry. You're not. Come on. Oh, there we go. I'll do it later. After this match. Okay, and here we go with the relentless, relentless offense of Zeej. Man, he's out for blood. Definitely wants his revenge. But unfortunately for him, he gets wall broken by Kohide. Let's see how Kohide... Oh, Lord, no! And the aerial... Overdrive right after noticing that Zeej was definitely gonna go for something. Okay, here we go the 6P. Very nice stuff from Zeej. Here we go with the close S. Oh, and the again the reaction uh, aerial command drop. That was crazy good. Okay, here we go. Oh, very nice use of the 2K right there from Kokide to catch the Beyblade out of the air. Here we go with the kickflip. And here we go with Kuhide making good use of the mobility, the ground mobility of, of, uh, of, oh lord, of Giovanna, just like this, gets the confirm into the, uh, overdrive, this is gonna do a hell of a lot of uh, damage, uh, well, all things considered, because, well, you know, Nagoyuki has a huge health pool, is he gonna be able to seal the deal if he gets the wall break, it is the case, and boom, just like this, Kohide takes it with a perfect, this is a huge, Huge statement from Kohide saying, I am definitely not letting you take it that easily, Zeej. You have to work for it. Let's see if Zeej can find a way to reverse the tendency. He has been making a lot of progress with his Nagoyuki recently. Unfortunately, no 6P punish right there from Zeej. Making good use of the Fukio to get... Ah, Lord. Oh, almost got... Um, almost got um, blood raged. And the double Fukio right there. Again, no 6P to punish the... <laughs> the kickflip attempt from Kohide, and just like this, Kohide uh, manages to uh, confirm the into the overdrive again. Zeej, as oh no, again gets hit by the um, what's it called the uh, spin the spiral arrow, and just like this, Kohide takes it with a very very in clean fashion right there. Yeah, Zeej has to work to punish the. Um, the cannon drill. Yeah, again, finally, finally, Zeej gets it. Very nicely done. Ah, very nice reaction, Weber. They're from Zeej, and delays his 
uh, his standing S to catch the backdash attempt from Kohide. Very nicely done. Here we go with Zeej using the Yellow Roman Cancel to get out of pressure. And just like this, he baited the... That was very... No! No! Oh! Zeej, my boy! What are you doing? <laughs> this is unfortunate. And here we go with Kohide back with some more action. And the huge freaking... Oh, Lord. And just like this, he gets it with the third uh, normal of Nago Ryuki, the third S, third slash of Nago. Very nice air, uh, well, anti air right there. Ah, uh, gets unfortunately hit by the um, by the kickflip. Here we go with Kohide back to... Oh, Lord! Kohide, what are you doing? Okay, very nicely done. This time Razich does not get open. He does get opened by the follow-up of the... Uh, standing Dust <laughs> into the Roman Cancel. He gets a wall break. It's not enough to kill, but very nice pursue from Kohide. He has his opponent exactly where he wants, and very nice CXP right there from Zeej, man. This is crazy good. And here we go with Kohide having to oh, commit to the aerial overdrive. He still has another bar of tension, man. Ah, oh, no, unfortunate for Zeej. I think he had the correct read, but. Uh, not the correct timing, and unfortunately for him, Kohide takes the second match as well. Let's see if uh, Zij is able to reverse the tendency. We shall see. Hopefully, he will. <clears throat> and here we go. <clears throat> Very nice for HS from Zij. The pressure is real. He definitely does not want Kohide to get out of this corner. This will be your tomb. Uh. And here we go with Zeej again, with just, just really sending a statement to Kohide saying, Sukugaki-sama no Hakabada, this is your, your tomb, you will stay there, you will not get out. You can feel the anger in Zeej, very nice follow-up right there from Kohide, and saved by the Bloodburst, if you think. Oh, and the instant overhead, no 6P again on, uh, on, uh, the aerial attempts from Kohide, oh no, I feel like... Uh, yeah, but it's okay. He still got it. Zeej could have sealed the deal without resetting the situation, but it's okay. The end result is all that matters. Zeej takes the uh, third round, the third match, actually. So let's see how this pans out. Ah, here we go. The uh, aerial. I do believe the aerial key into the kick flip to catch the backdash attempt from Zeej and Zeej on point when it comes to now on point uh, when it comes to punishing the cannon drill. Ah, here we go. And Zeej with the in and out, man. Working very, very good for Giovanna right now. Here we go with the simple Tira, gonna get the hard knockdown and the big counter hit on the standing as this is gonna do a huge amount of damage. Here we go with the Ventania. It's gonna be the Schmix. Zeech has to hold this one. Yeah, he had to. It's like, it's okay. And here we go. And just like this, Kohide is on match point. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. <clears throat> and here we go with Zeech. Making good use of the 6P to send a signal that to Kohide that he is definitely gonna catch any um what's it called? Any dash attempts. Here we go. You are staying in the corner, sir. So Kurakisama no Hakabada you boom! And you did. <laughs> Man, it either goes really really good for Zeej or it either goes or he lets Kohide out of the corner and it's over. And here we go with Zeej going ham doing the the Dark Necro right there, and here we go with the Schmixes. Oh lord, and he's gonna get the wall break, man. Ah, Kohide. Ah, uh, you had to... You had to anti him. Oh, this is a save drum. Yeah. Oh, not actually. Very nicely done by Zeej. He takes the second. Well, actually the fourth match. Very nicely done. Zeej, good job. And just like this, Zeej is on uh, the verge of, uh, of bringing it back. Actually, he brought it back right now. Let's see if he can seal the deal. We shall see. Ah, here we go with the 6P again, man. He's doing a lot of good job for him. Ah, Lord, and the 4S to catch. The, I do believe the attempt of Koide to jump out of the corner. Oh, my Lord, and the command grab. Oh, oh Zeej, what are you doing? Zeej! 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 What are you doing, man? Lord, that was crazy good. Good stuff, and just like this, Zeej on match point. Is he gonna take it again with the 6P to punish the oh! <laughs> the wake up command grab, man? And here we go with Zeej with the 6 HS again with the huge amount of no, no, Zeej, I hate you. What did you do this? Oh, Lord, Lord, 
Lord, no! Oh, 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 Lord! Oh, this is crazy. And oh, probably Koine gonna go for this. Oh, I just like this. Z takes it over Kohide. Are you kidding? Versus RX. Uh, so both players don't really need any introduction. Well, RX is a very, very solid uh, Testament player. <laughs> Matem is a very, very strong uh, Nagoya Yuki player. So let's see how this plans out. Matchup wise, I have no idea who's in uh, favor of what. I would have a tendency to say that it's probably in favor of, of Testament. Depending on whether or not she's in the corner or not. They're in the corner, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go with the 6P again from RX. Very nicely done. He goes for the double, triple overhead, actually. I don't know. It's not the last sequence, not triple. And here we go with the big 2D counter hit. He couldn't quite get the juggle, but it's still okay. He still got the... Uh, he still got the pressure. Very nicely done. Gets to confirm into... Well, the wall splat into the wall break into death. Very nicely done. And here we go for the second round. And Atem going a little bit ham. Let me check the brackets real quick, guys, just to see if anybody has uh, need of my of my assistance. It doesn't seem like it's the case, so it should be okay. Okay, we're good. And that being said, here we go with Atemu. Oh lord, ah, Atemu gets the burst. Beats it perfectly. Oh lord, and RX on point with his Roman cancel to make... Uh, to punish, to, acqu to accordingly punish the uh, jump in attempt from Atemu. Atemu is gonna get not the wall break, but he's gonna get the corner position. But here we go, Atem almost there, almost there on the punishes using the 4 HS. Oh, and the Arbiter man just hitting Atem 4. Well, on the other side of the stream, and just like this, Atem puts one round as well. So let's see how this pins out. Woo, and the close S and Iron Man, he's gonna quite get the follow up. And here we go with the recent nerfs of Nagoriyuki on his 2HS right there. It whiffed on a crouching testament, unfortunately for him. Here we go, RX got this thing. He's gonna get the hard knockdown. Okay, he went for again the Karasu, the Karasmento. And here we go with RX just doing a lot of Karasmento right there, just using the Crow to harass his opponent. I call it the Karasment. Here we go, the Karasment is on. Ah, but here we go with Atem finding. The opening and Atemu using the Roman cancel to get out of uh, Danger's way. Oh lord, and Atem. Oh, he almost had the correct read. And again with the Karasment, and this time around, the whiff punish for RX to take the first match of this set. Very nicely done. Okay, on to the second match. Let's see how it. Pans out very nice Beyblade to catch the back dash of Oryx. And here we go with Atem making good use of the- Oh my lord, did you see- you guys see that? <laughs> they just be whiffing on each other, that was pretty funny. Here we go with Atem using the command grab, just like this. Atem puts one round on the board, very nicely done. We on to the second uh, match, here we go with Atem and the immediate uh, DP on startup. And again with RX using a very nice setup to try to get, uh, well, safe wake up. basically. He gets the stain, he's gonna get the, oh, overdrive, actually. Kaboom, boom, boom, this is my hot M, get out of here. Just like this, RX is gonna get a hard knockdown into, oh lord, and you got baited. What? Oh, this was probably an input error from RX. He could have sealed it, yeah, I hope it's not gonna come back to bite him in the butt. We shall see. Ah, Lord, Atem looking good right there. He's gonna get the hard knock. No, no, refuses to use it. Keeping a little bit of tension bar. Ah, no, Lord, and D4. As this move is so good, just like this, RX puts. Takes one round as well. This is the final round. Oh, my Lord, what are you doing? Atem, lay low. Here we go with RX going with the uh, up down mix ups right there. Very nicely done. Again with the pressure is real man, you have to hold it, you have to hold it and just like this gets the Arbiter, he's gonna get full conversion with pressure and again the Karasmento, boom, get out of here. Next with the Karasmento again, uh, or not, okay here we go, ah uh, and no anti-air right there, RX already committed to the Arbiter, ah uh, again using the, R the RX, the, the RX, the RC2, um, well to recover faster from his recovery frames from using Arbiter, very nicely done by Rex, and punishes the jump in accordingly. 
and on to potentially the final set of this encounter. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, and again, just run up 6P, man. The 6P of Testament is extremely good. Probably one of the one of the best, I guess. 6P in the game. And here we go with our eggs just using, man, using their arbiter. Oh, and Atem is smelling this burst and uh, punishes it accordingly. Actually, very nicely done. Here we go with Atem going a little bit ham. He needs to keep a he needs to keep a look on his Yeah, and this is death. Yeah, this is gonna be death. Very nicely done by Rx. And just like this, Rx takes the first round of potentially the final set, <laughs> final match of this round, of this, um, this encounter. Let's see how this pans out again with the 2HS whiff right there. There we go. The landmark of the nerfs that have been applied to Nagoriyuki. Yes, he has been nerfed a bit. He has been buffed a lot, I feel, but yeah. Anyways, here we go. With Atemu on with the onslaught. But that desperately needs this round, what am I saying, this match if he wants to stay in the tournament. Oh lord, and he bagged that from RX. <laughs> and right there, RX fearing to get grabbed, resorted to just a bad dash. Now, unfortunately for this, this opened up Atemu for another situation in which he could bring it back. And again with Atemu, man, using the Beyblade, that's, this, has been use this has been working very, very good for him. Okay, here we go with the cross-up. Jumping K from Atemu. Hey, here we go, my lord, the big Beyblade counter hit. This is not gonna help. This is gonna kill? Oh no, no it's not. No! No, the blood rage. You have to eat it. Eat it! Oh lord, and no entire right there, and this is gonna spell death, yeah, yeah. RX is not dropping, oh, actually not. Okay, we go with the Arbiter and the Bagdash to whiff punish the uh, the Beyblade, actually. Very nice. Oh, okay, very good. <coughs> oh, Aurorus. Isn't that a, a legendary Pokemon? My Pokemon knowledge is really crap, so don't, don't, please don't quote, quote me on this. That being said, here we go on to the next battle. It's going to be Kokide against Nikoji. These two have been playing against each other since the dawn of time. It's, oh, uh, here we go with Kohide having to hold this rush and getting command grabbed in the process. This is gonna do a lot of freaking, look at this, look at this man, and just Nekojiru is courting Kohide in the corner. Oh, and no punish on the Nasante right there. This is unfortunate again with Nekojiru. Ah, with a very nice freaking, oh, and he finally gets grabbed. Oh, and the big counter right there, I think. Oh, okay, Lord, and Koide going for the extension. Yeah, eating ever so slightly away from the huge health pool of... Of... Ah, and just like this, Nikoji takes it. Very nicely done. And again, with another Mega Fist, just for good measures. Let's see how Koide answers in... Uh, well, in response. Answers in response, yes. Very nice English, dude. <laughs> that being said, here we go with the double overhead from Kohide. Finally finds the opening with the quick dust. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the convert. And from here, this is freaking sick. Oh, he tried to go with an instant overhead right there. Oh, and Nikoji with the reads, man. But unfortunately for him, unfortunately for him, Kohide. <laughs> well, he did an invite. And he even woke up with the overdrive, which gives him the hard knockdown. Here we go with Kohide, looking pretty good, wanting to keep this lead, and boom, here we go, you are out of life. Very nice done by Kohide, put one round apiece. Kohide, I'm going to start with you, okay? Just a minute, please. If you don't have any advice, I'm going to start with you. Yes, I'm going to start with you. Kakarin, Alex, please start with you. Okay, here we go. Ah! アレクさんすみません。いいっすよ。もうえっと、配信します。大丈夫です。ちょっと見てみたいんです。今日は結構早めに終わるんで、えっとで、アレクさんと高林さんのシェアもちょっと見てみたいんで、配信します。ごめん
<笑>アレクさんいます確認できましたあ,あ、オッケー、大丈夫。オッケー、もう見た、多分。ごめんなさい。配信します。すいません。気が怖くて申し訳ない。気が、気まぐれで申し訳ないんです。だけど、やっぱりお二人ともの試合を見てみたいの。気が、変わって、すいません。配信、します。気が変わって。オッケー、これでいい。オッケー、anyways, here we go. Sorry for the Oh lord, and the burst. The burst made and just like this, the Goji takes it. Very, very nicely done. What the fuck is a shuckle? What is a shuckle? Ah, shuckle, that's a Pokemon. I have no idea. Yeah, this is third,、uh, third season, and I have no knowledge of third season of、uh, Pokemon. I stopped with the second. Well, I didn't stop, but I was quite knowledgeable on the second, but the third, I didn't hard, hard try it. I tried hard as much. That being said, here we go with Kohide with the wall break. And the in and out from Kohide. Lord, and he finds the opening, and just like this, Kohide takes it. 2 2 No, he doesn't take it, but he takes this match at least. He still has one more set to try and take it. Let's see how this pans out.、Mm. Okay, and on to potentially the final match of this set. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord, and the far S right there. Nikoji using a lot of slide head right there. Ah,、oh, Lord, and Kohide tried to use the,、um, to, the grab to try to keep Nikoji in the corner. Oh, Lord, and he just defend right there from Nikoji, man. <coughs> Lord, you have to hold it. Very nice for S. Gets hit by Nas Nasante, unfortunately. And here we go with the grab attempt from Kohide, man. On point. Here we go with the finally the Garuda impact and a little bit of damage. Oh lord, and the interruption, the second interruption. Lord, here we go with. Ah lord, the quick dust. This has been doing a lot of damage to. to yeah, this is gonna be death. Really, really well played by Kohide. Gonna take this first round as well. Let's see how this spins out. The Kohide has one more chance. To try to bring it back. Let's see the back mega fist and the jump. Varam Kohide to get over the、um, the hammerhead. The slight head, I'm sorry. Oh, and the command grab finally for Nikoji working out. What? No! A little bit too quick on the RC.、Uh, the RC, what's it called? Under RC cancel, and unfortunately doesn't get any damage on the command grab. This is so unfortunate. And here we go with the. Ah,、uh, this would have spelled death, by the way. Oh, this is gonna be death. This is gonna be death. Damn, that was sick. The combo was sick. Very nicely done by n i k o z i r finally showing signs of、uh, of life, basically. Hopefully, for him, he's gonna be able to find a little bit more life as well in this one. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go again, n i k o z i r in the corner, man. A situation he has been seeing a little bit too much during this encounter. Here we go with、ah, Kohide not getting hit by the back Mega Fist. Finds the opening, gets the juggle, gets the low counter hit. This is gonna be, do a lot of damage. Didn't even need the overdrive to do yeah, more or less、uh, a quarter of life of damage. And here we go and dish it.、Ah, I don't know if he's gonna. I just don't get a kill. Or is it? Lord! I lied! I just like did prediction, but it's okay. I can do it on the fly. It's okay. No worries. I got this. Okay, and just like this, this is Takarin against RX. Let's see how this pans out. And no connections errors today, man. This is cool. And here we go with Takarin immediately t r y to、uh, hit RX on his. Well,、uh, on, uh, on the start of the round. Here we go with the、uh, air dash pressure. RX is doing a good job not getting、uh, opened by it. No anti air right there. Unfortunately for Tikara and Sun, he was on his. Recovery frames. And here we go with the Kara Cemento right there. RX having a very good. Ah, yeah, this is gonna be death. Very nicely done. The juggling was real. Let's see if Ta Takarin can deal with all of this pressure and the freaking. Oh lord, that was crazy, man. Very nice back dash right there from RX, not to get hit by the grab attempt from Takarin. And here we go with the snail. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Takani finding the opening against with the snail. He has 
RX exactly where he wants. Is he gonna? Yeah, he's gonna get the conversion. And just like this, Takarin takes one round as well. Let's see how this pans up. And I need to. Um, I need to use a autocorrect because the loser's bracket is not English. Yeah. That being said, here we go. Uh, here we go with Takarin and the pressure man just wanting to keep RX in the corner for obvious reason. Catches him out of the air with the 2HS very nicely done. He's gonna freaking... It. Well, that wasn't a punish though. Okay, here we go with the oh, optimization station from TKR and he got four Axel Bombers in a go. That was crazy. Four in a go, man. And just like this, he gets the rest. Rinsen Geki in. And just like this, Takarin proving again and again that he is the best Axel player in Japan currently. Very nicely done by him. Okay, here we go with the Rainwater from TKRN. Baits any the attempt of uh, RX to hit him low. Oh my lord, and baits the tech attempt as well. This was dirty. And again with the 2HS counter hit. TKRN definitely on point with his zoning game right there. RX having a little bit of a hard time to deal with it. And here we go with the far, the far S counter hit into death. Very nicely done by Takarin-san. Oh, here we go with the 2S. Finds the opening. <laughs> and here we go. RX finds the opening with the... Oh lord, he failed to get the juggle. This is unfortunate for him, but it's still okay. He has the corner position. He has to make best use of it. Okay, he's gonna get the juggle, unfortunately for him. The 6HS whiffs. Thing is, so that Tekaran could get some more um, real estate to maneuver around RX's harassment and oh here we go with Takarin using the RC as well too oh lord and just like this with the confirms and the oh lord that was crazy good very nicely done by RX it's gonna get the wall break into the win okay here we go again with the 2HS calm counter hit man oh here we go with take your hand find Takarin finding the opening for big confirm on the 2S into the snail here we go with the snail. Roman cancel and this should kill. Yeah. No! Okay. Lord, I thought it was gonna whip. Lord, I thought it was gonna whip. And Takarin again takes the other. Takes again one match. RX definitely needs to do something. Definitely needs to find some sort of adjustment or he's doomed to fail. That being said, here we go with Takarin with the grab and try to OS. A 2k to try to catch any attempt of the backdash, but apparently Testament's backdash was a little bit too uh, filmsy, I guess. Here we go with our X with the corner pressure. Our X definitely do, does not want to let up. And just with the oh no, and the bad burst right there from our X. Very nice reaction grab though from our X. He's gonna get a lot of damage. Is Takarin going to? No, he's not. He is going to be stained though. Oh lord, and Takarin not afraid to press buttons, and just like this, Takarin is not gonna kill. Definitely gonna get a very good corner position though. Okay, let's see. Oh my lord, again the 2HS counter, and this should be dead. Oh, we're not actually. <laughs> oh lord, and the jumping. HS for the steal. Let's see how this pans out. He's already going to be able to climb that mountain back, we shall see. Oh, here we go with the 2S counter hit, man. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord. Ah, and the clash in favor of Tekar. And again, going for the jumping 2HS to try to uh, probably shimmy his opponent. Like, try to catch a tech attempt or somewhat. Here we go. You are staying in the corner. Very nice reaction to S right there from Tekar. And unfortunately for him, Testament had... Uh, could recover from her uh, skull a little bit quicker. And here we go, my lord, the defense of this man. And finally, finally, our X takes a round. Let's see how this pans out. Mm. Okay, here we go with the uh, tick throw right there from our X. Oh, lord. Here we go with the four. Oh, my lord, this is a huge 2S counter hit. It's going to give a little bit more of real estate to Takarin. And the Karasmento has started. The Karasmento has started. You have to hold it. 
the Harasmith to have started. He tried to go for a burst bait, but Takani not biting whatsoever. And the Karasmento is going to start again. Very nice jump right there from Takani. If he got hit by the Karas... By the... Uh, the, the Karas... <laughs> by the... Um, what's his name? By the... The crow that would have spelled death and very nice conversion from Takarin takes it a clean three two. Okay, sorry for the quick interlude, intermission, I'm sorry, really had to, uh, really had to take care of something. Anyways, here we go, and we are still on the first round of this matchup, let's see how this pans out, very nice nail by Takarev, takes a little bit of a risk but ends up taking it with the jumping, I do believe this is the jumping HS if I'm correct. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, uh, unfortunately, whiffed grab, aerial grab attempt from Tickleran right there. He gets counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage, actually. And Kuita even has the overdrive. He could have uh, used it to get the hard knockdown, but I do believe that his um, choice is probably the best, since he knows better. And that being said, here we go with the Lensengeki. Oh, Lord. No! And the 2HS, my Lord. The 2 HS reaction from TKRN have been crazy good, man. As soon as you see somebody heading to the air, it's like immediate 2 HS. Go with the meaty cannon drill. Koidete makes it makes uh, actually a very nice comeback right there. He was on the losing uh, end of the health bar, but he managed to make a comeback. Here we go, my lord. TKRN just running from the other side of the screen to try to catch the Baghdad from Koidete, man. <laughs> Here we go with the, again, the dash attempts from Tikiran and the cross under from Kohide. You got schmixed, sir. Very nice stuff. Kohide with the overdrive and the take pressure, man. You have to hold it. A little bit too hard. Oh, and gets the kill with the freaking. That was crazy flip kick, man. Very nicely done. Let's see how it pans out. Here we go on to the second match. And the two, uh, the attempt from Tikaran to try to keep Kohide on the ground didn't quite, didn't quite work out in his favor, but he still found the counter hit right there. It's in uh, a very nice position right there to keep Kohide out, but Kohide finding the way again and the Lensengeki punish. Yeah, boom, uh, not the, like, yeah, the Shaku, I have no idea. Ah. Mm. Okay, and here we go with TKRN and the Wake Up Golden Bridge is gonna get two attention bar right there. And finally uses the uh, aerial overdrive, unfortunately for him. TKRN was already on his way to punish him. Uh, on his way down, and he basically, uh, well, benefited from a trade right there. Okay, and here we go with Kohide, and again, my lord, and Tikaran confirming that the 2k uh, clashed, and that's why he decided to press again another 2k, and another 2k in the Quake thus from uh, Kohide, and just like this, Takarin puts one on the board as well. Let's see how this pans out. Oh my lord, the trade in favor of uh, Koide because he got the knockdown. He's able to get the follow up. Ah lord, here we go with the. Ah uh, lord, you have to check your, your opponent sometimes. Very nice decision from Koide. Gonna get the uh, wall break with the punch it. 
And here we go, the big 2P to catch Tigran out of the, out of the, uh, out of the, the, the air. And here we go with the throw into RC and just like this, Koida takes the first round. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh my lord, and again the snail to catch any attempt of dashing from Kohide. Here we go with Dylan Sengeki. Oh, he almost got that wonderful freaking conversion. That would be crazy. And Kohide recognizes that uh, T current was not uh, safe on block after his snail this time around. And Lord Almighty T current with the fully charged us, and this is gonna kill. Lord Almighty, that was crazy good. Very nicely done by T current. Just like this, uh, yeah, both opponents have one round apiece. The one who takes this one takes it all. Well, not all, but. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to drift. Anyways, here we go with the uh, tech bait attempt. Again with the 2 HS. Immediate 2 HS as soon as he sees Koi to take into the air. Oh lord. Then here we go with again. Koi to trying to go with the quick dust. Cannot find the opening. Go with the simple 2 out. Nope. Again with the snail to save the day. Is this gonna kill? It's not. And the Lens and Geeky 4. Uh, wasn't the trip kill? Uh, maybe it was actually. Just like this, Tigarin goes up 2-2-1. Two, two, Let's see if Kohide can enter in due, um, in due fashion and uh, and save his tournament life. We shall see. Kohide, a very uh, strong contender for first place in our tournament. As you already know, this guy is a freaking beast. <laughs> but it's not to say that Tigarin isn't a beast as well. Very strong player, both of them. And again, this time around, Kohide trying to go, but... Tikaren recognizing that Kohide wants to go for the punish after the blocked snail and just immediately Roman cancels and punish the punish attempt. Again with the tech bait into the fall, the, the waterfall, the rainfall, the rainwater, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get it. And here we go with finally the grab from Kohide. Tried to go with the cheeky second grab as well, but Tikaren Takanin recognizing that it's gonna be the case. Here we go with Kohide. Still free to just dash after the pressure of Tikaren. Well, obviously, because Tigarin does mix his pressure with random uh, snails if you try to uh, to dash toward them. And just like, is this gonna kill? This is probably gonna kill. Bye bye. Very nicely done by Kohide, puts one on the board as well. This has been back and forth, back and forth. If Kohide takes this as well, I'm sure we're gonna go with a final round, final match uh, between these two. It's definitely, definitely possible. Both players playing extremely good, by the way. Like even in their normal time they play good, but right now, even among their normal like playstyle, they play extremely good today. I don't know why. Probably uh, they missed the uh, Brojo Cup, I suppose, obviously. And here we go with the wall break from Kohi. They're looking very good right now. That being said, Tagani does have a burst. Oh lord! Oh Lensen no! Oh man, it caught the back dash. This is unfortunate for Kohide. I think he had the correct read, but Oh and the freaking Oh! Nope. Okay, good thing that he was able to... Okay, this is going to do, actually. And just like this, we're moving on to the final match of this encounter. Let's see how this pans out, man. It's been going back and forth, back and forth, man. These players are really, really, really good. Yeah, definitely looking forward. Let's see how this goes. Mm. And here we go with the cannon drill from Kohide. Finds the opening, gets the follow-up. <laughs> Gonna get the wall break. Gonna get the positive bonus. And Taka Takarin will have to deal with pressure. Uh, Kohide very very um, eager to use the uh, to use the uh, how do you call it the aerial overdrive. He's been using it a lot during this uh, this set, during any set actually. <laughs> here we go with the um, actually I don't know what button this is, but here we go with the the world. This is gonna do a lot of damage, well, all things considered. Okay, and Kohide unfortunately for hit got his burst baited. Oh, and the Kohide signature, the backdash in the corner. You should always be careful. Kohide loves to backdash in the corner. Okay, Takarin down one. Let's see if he can bring it back. Okay, and Takarin just... Oh my lord, using the 2k to low profile the, uh, the kickflip attempt. The pointy attempt. And here we go with the confirm. He's going to get the full combo. Oh lord, and the wall. Oh, lord, the aerial grab. That was crazy good. And just like this, Takarin. Yeah, I told you guys, this is gonna go to. I think I'm not. I, I don't want to jinx it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go. Oh, wait, wait. I, I'm jinxing it. I should have shut up. 
I should have shut up. I, I think I jinxed it. I think I jinxed it. <gasps> oh lord, no. Please don't make it so I jinx it. Oh my lord! Oh! <laughs> That aerial grab, man! That that split-second aerial grab. Just like this, we are going to the final match. The final round of this final match, man. Let's see how this pans out. A very tight match, man. Takani not afraid to just run straight to his opponent. Samron uses the 2D to get out of the pressure. And Dina Sante to try to catch any uh, jump out attempts from Takarin. <laughs> ah, here we go with the 2HS counter. Enough counter. But, oh! Yeah, you can see Takanin fearing a bit. Ah, this is death. This is death. Well done by Koji. It looked like Koji did. Very nicely done. Takes it very, very clutchly, man. Nothing. Zage, Nago, Singapore. Looking forward to this match. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, Zage defending the homeboys, man. Defending Singapore. Uh, let's see how this pans out. Please. We haven't had a single... Yes! So I'm talking about no connection error, not a single one. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go with the double air dash into HS from Yuhi immediately puts Zeej in the corner. Both, yeah, Yuhi has been eating a lot of Nagori Yuhis today. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, no bait from finally Zeej gets opened by the uh, this counter hit. Pops the, the burst. Okay, finds a counter hit of his own. Oh, he even gets the follow up. Okay, that would have been cool. Okay, let's see how this spins out again with. This has been playing so much. So that This has been so good for you. He using the. Just like dancing, like. Um, what's it called? He said dashing and back dashing in front of her opponent. And just whiff punish any attempt to uh, use a button from her opponent uh, by using the 4S. It's such a good thing. Thank you very much for the follow, Holo Genjin, and welcome to the Brojos. Here we go again with the... Ah, uh, that big whiff on is going to do a lot of damage by Zeej. Here we go already. Down half-life by Yuhi. Even more. And the 2S for the... Oh lord, where am I? Where am I? And here we go with Yuhi resorting to keeping uh, their bar just to potentially have more options oh here we go oh lord and yeah Yuki not biting man just being extremely extremely filmsy not filmsy uh, extremely nimbly I guess and here we go with the fully charged dust into the Roman and uh, not the, the, the wall break uh, lord oh good burst yeah that would have been ah uh, but uh, I don't know if I agree with it though Oh lord, and the whip punish, and just like this, Yuhi is in very, very good shape to actually take this match since uh, Yuhi actually was able to get rid of the the, the, the burst of Zeej and still win the match, so yeah. This is going to be a big, 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 big for Zeej. Zeej needs to hold it, and here we go. Finds the opening. Oh lord, this is going to do a lot of damage. And just like this, Yuhi with the wall break. Ah, almost took it with a sl ah, just a slight bit of health remaining. Let's see how this pans out. Lead again with the pressure, trying to find the opening ever so slightly. Ah, and unfortunately for him, gets hit by the standing S from Yuhi. Just like this, Yuhi takes the first match. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord. And the follow-up of DDP. Fortunately, was gonna get uh, punished by Yuki, but Zeech had to pop the burst at that specific time. And the conversions by Yuki, very nicely done. Lord, and not afraid. Zeech is not afraid. If you dance too much in front of me, I am going to burst buttons. This is what he's, telling, he's saying right now. Oh, and the, oh my, did you see the damage of the 6 HS? That was crazy. Very nicely done by Zeej. Takes the first round of the second match. Let's see how this pans out. Oh my lord. Zeej going ham with the Fukios. <clears throat> and the 2S counter. This was big. Ah, okay. Yuhi resorting to not. Oh lord, okay. Yuhi really trying to, uh, to freestyle, I feel. Oh lord, and again the far S counter hit, man. 
Them conversions, them, them confirms have been really on point by Yuki. Okay, here we go. Back to neutral. Okay, Zeej still holding on to his burst as he should. Yeah, he should, he should. Very nicely done by Yuki. <laughs> okay, both opponents are down one round. And again with the 4S, man. This move has been really, really buffed. But look at the damage. Boom. Hey, one hit. One opening. Half your life gone. Ah, oh, unfortunate for you, isn't it? And just as I say this, Zeech is in dire straits. Let's see how this spins up. Lord, ah, this is death. Oh, Lord, this is not death, actually. Ah! And he just ends up falling on Zeej's head and takes the second match as well. Oh, sorry, sorry. Battle. Mm, let's see how this spins out. And Zeej just having problems, I feel like. Trying to contain, you know, uh, Yuki trying to hit him out of the air, I feel. Oh, okay, we'll go with the follow-up of the DP counter. It just did a lot of damage, even though I think three hits. We hit uh, Milia. Here we go with Milia and the 2k2. We're trying to catch the backdash and successfully does it, so. Here we go with the ball break. Milia rocking some pretty healthy tension bar right now. Okay, here we go on the oh lord okay here we go on the schmicks are real man ah and here we go with yuki not afraid to press button look at the damn not the damage then the damage into jack but it is really really well played by yuki he takes my lord yeah and just like this we are on match point let's see how this pans out the double overhead right there from yuki Whew. and the follow-up there goes Zeej trying to really try to uh, get that hit that would just keep you here in the... Oh lord, two hits, look at this. Finally Zeej, finally using the command grab. He's been a little bit uh, privy of using it, I feel. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> and the close S for the win. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Zeej still staying alive. If you remember correctly, it did the, exactly the same thing with Kohide. Zeej down two, two matches, down one round, and he brought it back, so... If you did it once, you can definitely do it twice. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, my lord, Yushi, on point. On point, man. Oh, and she got the conversion! Okay, let's see how this pans out. There you go, the schmicks, man, the schmicks, you have to hold it. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, yeah, that was dead. Well played by... Yuhi and just like this, Yuhi makes his way to the grand finals, a clean. Okay, and just like this, we are running. Ah, yeah, for people who didn't see, I'm a banana! <laughs> Dual one. I'm a banana now. Again, here we go with the 2k from Kohide. Oh, damn it, uh, I didn't update the. Oh, uh, yeah. Kohide is definitely not from Singapore, and. Uh, <laughs> And Zeej is definitely not from Japan. Let me update this real quick. Here we go. Singapore and Japan. Okay, we're good. Perfect. Sorry for this, for this uh, slight banana power. This is me. Ça va bien, Noah. Bah, il fait chaud, mais bon, au moins c'est une chaleur agréable, tu vois. Au Japon, c'est une chaleur humide, c'est horrible. T'es es, es lourd tout le temps. T'as pas envie de bouger. T'as pas envie de faire quoi que ce soit. Okay, here we go, finally, Zeej, with, uh, who actually managed to take the first round, by the way. On his way to take the second one? This is not gonna kill him, it's not, it's not. He's gonna do a lot of damage, though. Lord almighty. So, what is it going to be for Kohide? Kohide going with the cross-up. Oh, Lord, and again with the quick dust for the opening. He's gonna get... A positive bonus, but Zeej is uh, on the verge of getting two positive bonuses. Uh, two, two, uh, two tension bars. Ah, and the bad, the bad wake up. Oh no! And just like this, Zeej is it... not dead. Actually, one more time. Uh, Zeej could have won. Oh lord. 
Oh, in the command grab for the freaking opening. Siege, man, this dude. This dude puts one on the board. Let's see how this pans out. We shall see. On with duel number two. Kohide down one. It's definitely not... Uh, it's not impossible for him to win. Definitely not. He has been in more uh, dire situations than this. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> Very nice pressure right there from Kohide. But Zeech manages to get out of the corner. Gets a big 2 HS counter hit. There we go. The pressure is real. Catches Kohide trying to dash out of the corner. And just like this, Zeech takes the first round of the second match as well. Damn, Zeech on point, man. Zeech is definitely on point today. And here we go with the pressure. Go with Kohide trying to vary his offense. Finds the opening with a raw. A Rana Sante. This is crazy. This is going to do a lot of damage, even without using the overdrive. Oh lord. No, oh, and the 6P. The same around. Siege was on point. Oh man, he's going aggro completely. Completely, man. Working in his favor. And here we go with Siege. Gonna get the hard knockdown. He definitely does not want Koyde to wake up. Let's get back the momentum. Let's see how this spins. Oh lord! And just like, oh my lord, Zeech is on fire today, man. Lord, with the quick dust into Roman cancel for the kill. For not only the kill, but the burst bait and then the kill. It was crazy good, man. Ah, this is an unfortunate situation right there from Kohide. Ah, uh, no 6p right there. And you're going with Zeej getting his backdash caught by, by Kohide. Ah, here we go. Very nice in and out pressure right there from Kohide. Oh, and the 6 speed counter hit. Here we go. Kohide couldn't quite get a juggle right after, but still, okay, he has the pressure. Let's see how this spins out. Again with the run up throw. Oh, lord. That was probably death if, uh, if, oh. Oh, this is unfortunate. Very nice recognition from Kohide that uh, Zeech had whiffed his 6 HS and was therefore uh, susceptible to be punished. Susceptible to be punished. Well, you got the drift. I'm not an English speaker anyways. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. With Zeej and the pressure, man. Oh, and the bag dash from Kohide. Perfectly timed. Oh, and here we go. The Samurai Kohide. Uh, hitting in the air to try to find the opening. The big two. The counter hit. Oh, Lord. Where are you? Where are you? Where did you go, Kohide? Oh lord, and the reeds are we on the two. Ah, the close S down. The close S to catch the bag. That's always crazy good. Very nicely done by uh, Zeej. He takes this run as well. If he takes this one, it's going to be two up for him. This will definitely... Oh my lord, and the bait! That bait, though. That bait was crazy good, no? <laughs> And Kohide just refusing to press a button. Oh lord, the damage is real. Ah, again with the backdash into throw, man. He's been working a lot for Kohide. Ah, too bad. A little bit too late on the 2P. Still okay. The neutral has been reset. Kohide does have attention more, though. Oh, and this time around. This time around, Zeej on... No, what the freak? Zeej! Zeej! It's unforgivable. Oh lord, again gets hit by Nosante. Is this gonna kill? No, it's not, it's not. I think. Oh, ZG had that, man. He definitely had that, man. It's okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 This is death. And just like this, Zeej takes a second. Oh, snaps! Actually, the grand final is going to be Yushi against Zeej. So Yushi has been extremely strong during this tournament. Did not lose a single freaking set ever since the start of the tournament. So yeah, definitely look at... Oh my lord, and just like this, Zeej catches the back jump attempt from Yushi with his DP. This time around, no burst to save uh, Yushi. Is Zeej motivated now? Oh, definitely. Oh, you can, you can see, you can see right now. No, the command grab. He wants to keep you in the corner, though. Obviously. Okay, here we go. Back to pressure land. Uh, a little bit too far to hit with. Oh my lord! But yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 
freaking Zeej, finish your freaking fromage. Ah, Zeej, my lord. Lord, you really just had to do this, the, the DP right after you caught, you caught her. Why? Zeej, I'm angry. Stop dropping stuff. <laughs> Yeah, no, not, no OTG on the, on the third hit of the, uh, of the Rekka. It's not really Rekka, though. <clears throat> is it being said, here we go. Zij did take the first round, so this is a good start. But Yuhi looking very good on the second round, though. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> and here we go, y Yuhi not biting. No entire again from Zij. Okay, here we go. This is gonna, yeah, this is gonna kill, yeah, this is gonna kill. Very nicely done, but he takes the second round. How is Zij going to? Yes, because Zij is in the loser's bracket, so he needs to win two sets in a row, whereas Yuhi is in the winner's bracket, he needs to, uh, to win only one set. So see, let, let's see how this pans out. And here we go, the pressure is real. Very nice grab right there from Zij, unfortunately for him, he gets hit. By the golden burst, you have to eat all of it. Preferring to keep his burst, I do agree with him. Okay, here we go with Yuhi. And the bad moon, bad moon, oh my lord, and the... <gasps> that was godlike, just like this, Yuhi takes it with a freaking burst bait. Good stuff from Yuhi, that was really, really nice of them. Just like this, Yuhi takes the first match of this encounter. Definitely not... It's not one-sided, but yeah. Zij does uh, have some uh, trouble dealing with the exceptional Melia player. Yuji is probably, yeah, he's definitely, on to he's definitely on top of the... Oh lord, and that bait, the burst bait was crazy good. Melia really uh, cannot be allowed to play. Yeah, yeah, if she is, then she just... She just like, mixes you to death, and just like this... This is a good round. <laughs> this is a good round for Nago. No freaking... Uh, no freaking momentum shift, you stay in the corner, this is where I want you. Okay, here we go. The pressure is real. Yoshi not uh, attempting to reset the neutral, I guess? Yeah, s sensing that Zij is definitely being very, very, very aggressive. <coughs> Probably trying to play a little bit more reactively, I guess? And just like this, Yuhi finds the opening. This is gonna do some damage. Very nice confirm right there. On the standing K, 2DK, 2DE. Just like this, he takes the second round of this second match. Let's see how this pans out. And again with the DP man trying to catch, uh, successfully catching Milia out of the air. Very nice recognition that uh, Zid was gonna whiff stuff. Here we go, Yuhi back in the corner. <coughs> And here we go with the left right mix up from Yuhi. Oh lord, and the bait of the YRC. Unfortunately for him, was a little bit too late on his reaction to try to punish it. But did open Zeech up again with the double air dash. And just like this. Oh, Yuhi trying to take it with the bad moon. Ah, yeah, he's gonna take it very nicely done. Just like this, Yuhi is two up. Zero. Is this the end of uh, Zij parkour? He did make a comeback previously, so let's hope that he's able to do so as well here. We'll see. <laughs> okay, too far for the 6HS ODG. Very nice combo right there. And very nice con recognition it was too late, to, too far to uh, get hit by anything else in the, the top. Hmm. Oh lord, and the swift punish, man. Wasn't exactly a punish though, but yeah. Caught Zij off guard, definitely. Just like this, Yuji really looking very, very strong, man. Zij is on his last leg. He absolutely, yeah, this is last. Yeah, this is over. Here we go. One more round for Yuji, and that is going to spell the end of this tournament. Let's see, this is tournament point for Yuji. The big far S counter hit right there from Zij, uh, from uh, from Yuji. And you have to eat and the empty low, man, this is so cheeky. And the slage for the wall break, he is not gonna get the- Oh, okay, here we go, it's not over- Oh, no, the wake up overdrive. You need it, you need to do it sometimes, man. Okay, here we go, the last chance from Zeej. If he 
Yeah, yeah, he just did. Yeah. Very nicely done though by Yushi. Very, very solid performance.